Welcome to our In Maricopa Spotlight series. I'm Adam Wolf. Joining me today is Victor Jimenez. And how are you today, Victor? I'm great. Today. Glad to be here. It's a good day. Good time of the year, too. It is, and we're very glad to have you. Thank you. Um, so Victor's here to talk about the Mac Farm and Field Day. Uh, so let's start with the, uh, with the Mac Farm. What, what is the Mac Farm? Okay, the Mac Farm is located on Smith Inc. Road, and um, it is, it's, uh, MAC stands for M-A-C, its initials are Maricopa Agricultural Center, and it's a University of Arizona Research and Education Farm. Its primary focus is to focus on arid land agriculture. We have scientists there that study all about plants that grow in, in desert environments. We collect that information and share it with scientists around the world. Are there any specific areas of the research that is kind of most pertinent to the farm? Uh, well, it's pretty much an airline agriculture across the board. They talk about cotton, a lot of different plants that grow in the desert and so forth. And my job, by the way, is I'm a community education 4-H outreach uh, person. So we bring a lot of children, literally thousands of children, to the farm. And then um, you also have a big event coming up, Field Day. You bet. <laughs> this coming Saturday is going to be, it's the, the what, 21st, and uh, from 10 to 2, the Mac Farm is opening up its doors, have like a big open house, we're having all types of booths, we're going to have all types of events that are related to agriculture, it's going to be fun, where kids, people can learn and have fun learning about agriculture, we'll have just a whole array of activities, and it's basically to, uh, the city of Maricopa has had a rich history of agriculture, and uh, we just kind of let people know that we're here, we're there to service not only the community, the whole state of Arizona, and um, that's what it's about. We're having a lot of fun activities, so we, and it's free, too. And there's the kicker. There you go. <laughs> there you go. To say something's free, a lot of people like to show up. So what, uh, do you have any particular favorite event of Field Day? Uh, well, I'm, since I'm coordinating the whole thing, it's all my favorite <laughs> event. That, for, uh, we, have, think we have activities for adults. Uh, I, I would say uh, that adults might be more interested in. We have activities for, uh, for young people, for kids. For example, the adults, we have like a tractor pull. Uh, we have an old-time tractor show that people come in and see if they want to interested how tractors looked and ran years and years and years ago. We have that. Uh, for children, we have uh, face painting activities. We have uh, a corn maze where the kids can actually go through. We have tractor rides all around the farm. Uh, so uh, we have a 4-H petting zoo that's there. So there can be something for everybody. Great. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. It is. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. We're expecting a lot of people. We have um, sent flyers to the newspapers. We've sent flyers to the Internet. Through the, I'm, I'm not flyers, information through the Internet. Uh, every uh, student in every school in the Maricopa School District is receiving a flyer just like this right here. It tells us all about the activities that are going on, cricket spitting contests, petting zoos, whole time tractor shows, corn walks. We're even going to have a professional clown that's volunteers time to be there. And you heard that correctly, that was a cricket spitting contest. Sure. And on the flyer it even says, in parentheses, try it, you'll like it. <laughs> you bet, you bet. <laughs> and so we had this last year and everything, it was quite popular, so uh, we thought let's include that activity for those who just for fun type of thing. All right. And then uh, why is uh, the Mac Farm so important to Maricopa? Obviously, you mentioned, you know, it keeps the agricultural history of the area alive. But yes. what makes it so important? Uh, first of all, the Maricopa Agricultural Center has been here since eight, uh, 18, uh, 1988 and so forth and has evolved and grown. And uh, it's important because we, uh, like I said, we do a lot of study on arid land agriculture. And we share that with scientists around the world as far as the community is here in Maricopa is concerned and, and beyond, actually. You know, we have educational programs for teachers, for students to come to the farm. And uh, so we just feel that we're a resource not only to the city of Maricopa, but to the state of Arizona as well. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate you. You're welcome. We're, we're looking forward to a great day. And the weather's going to be good, about 77 degrees. I've already checked that out. It's sunny. And it's going to be a great day. Like I said, it's a free thing for all. We're expecting well over 1,000 people up there, maybe even up to 2,000. So it's going to be a full day, a fun day. Come on out. And like we always like to say, it's all happening at the farm. <laughs> Well, thinking. there you have it. So come on down to the farm on Saturday and have yourself a great time. Thanks for watching In Maricopa Spotlight. I'm Adam Wolf on behalf of InMaricopa.com. We'll see you next time.